Coming up, the Blue World team investigates a unique species of iguana that dives for its food. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. The Galapagos Islands, famous for their influence on our understanding of evolution. Located in the Pacific Ocean, hundreds of miles from the nearest land, species here adapted to their isolated surroundings without outside influence. The result was hundreds of species of animals and plants that exist nowhere else in the world. Perhaps the most famous is the Galapagos giant tortoise, of which there are over a dozen subspecies a little different on each island. Food can be scarce on these desolate volcanic islands, and many animals have taken to the sea for food, including a most unlikely inhabitant, the Galapagos marine iguana. They spend much of their time basking in the sun to warm up. Because when they get hungry, they head for the ocean. This is the only marine iguana in the world an animal that feeds underwater. Once in the water, the marine iguana switches to tail power, swimming with undulating strokes of its long, swishy tail. It joins a host of other animals that swim for their food. Sea lions, penguins, and sea turtles. Sea lions can be a bit of a hazard because they like to play with the smaller animals. The marine iguana, however, has no time to play. Down on the seafloor, different kinds of algae grow abundantly in these cool oceans. Damselfish cultivate fields of a verdant, delicious algae that they like to eat, and they protect their little farms from intruders. The iguana braves the cold for a particular algae that can only grow underwater. He uses sharp claws to hang on in the surge and gnaws away at the algae while holding his breath. Every few minutes, the rapacious reptile needs to breathe and ascends to the surface for a moment or two. Then it's back down to the bottom for more food. Sometimes the iguana lands right in a damselfish farm and helps himself to the crop. The damselfish are not happy. With a few painful bites, the iguana goes in search of greener pastures.
An iguana that has found a really delicious patch of algae is not about to be deterred by a diver like cameraman Todd. The water is in the low 60s, quite cold for a cold-blooded reptile, so only the large males have enough thermal mass to hold heat sufficiently for diving. The females and smaller males hunt in the intertidal zone at low tide, where the food is not as good. But even a big iguana can only take the cold for a few minutes. Then it's back to the surface to warm up. The dark volcanic rocks help soak up the sun and restore body heat. The isolated conditions in the Galapagos Islands have given birth to an amazing variety of animals and plants that are found nowhere else in the world. And the marine iguana is certainly one of the most unique. It's the only iguana in the world that dives and swims in the ocean. It's one cool lizard in the blue world. Hey, you guys, check out that video. It's a really good one. Also, this one's pretty good, too. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.